Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday, January 12th. I'm Nicole Nalepa. Teachers across the state are protesting the working conditions inside schools as COVID-19 cases surge. Today, school union staff are wearing all black to send a message to the state. Their goal is to get more rapid tests along with the option to go temporarily remote. They also want more supplies to stop the spread of the virus in the first place. Teachers want to be reassured with resources to make sure that we can mitigate the virus as much as possible. So first, we need access to N95 or KN95 masks. Now to fight staffing shortages, the governor issued an executive order last night that will eliminate some hiring restrictions. It'll also allow schools to bring back retired teachers. And we did hear back from the Department of Education on this. A spokesperson told us in part, quote, over a million tests have been distributed specifically for schools over the past week. And the distribution at the local level is up to individual districts working with their cities and towns, unquote. The Board of Education in Old Saybrook is considering a change to their school day. Last night, they heard a presentation from a committee who recommended shifting the start of class for high schoolers from 7.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. Now, this committee sent out surveys asking parents, students, and staff what they thought. And many students and parents were in favor of a later start. But staff members were a slightly tougher sell. Still, the committee sided with the families. We feel that at this moment, that is the most feasible, attainable um, move that we could make um, and, you know, it would benefit our kids. If the change were approved, it would bring the district closer to the American Academy of Pediatrics recommendation of starting high school at 830. But the board says they need more input on how after school activities, daycare and transportation would be affected. I-84 in Farmington is back open this morning after two separate crashes took place last night in that area. The highway was closed in both directions right by exit 37 until around midnight. Now it all started when around 7, state police rushed to a multi-car crash right on the westbound side with reports of people seriously hurt. And while police were investigating that crash, one of the troopers' cruisers, which was pulled over on the eastbound side of the crash site, was struck by another car. Fortunately, the trooper was not in the cruiser at the time and no one was hurt or was not hurt. The, the trooper was not hurt, but we do know several people were hurt in that first crash and they were taken to the hospital by ambulance. And despite the bitter cold, fire crews were able to quickly put out a fire early this morning in East Hartford at a commercial building. So this happened on Prospect Street just around 315. Thankfully, no one was inside at the time when firefighters arrived, and the building we know houses an auto body repair shop, a church, and a storage facility. Ooh, I can't imagine. Adventure, Scott. Yeah, fighting it's pretty fires. Cool. I know, Ooh. it's just unbelievable. Give those guys a lot of credit. 703, good morning, everybody. Let's take you out. Another cold start out there. Not as cold as it was yesterday in the shoreline, but in inland Connecticut. Some of those towns are a little bit colder than yesterday, and yesterday was pretty cold. Our Doppler scans the state dry. We've got golden sunshine for you out there. 14 degrees. The numbers have been coming up. And that's good news, uh, and they'll continue to come up during the day today into the mid to upper 30s. But we're going to factor in a little bit of a breeze. You can see that breeze is blowing around in Old Saybrook. We've got a breeze already along the shoreline this morning out of the southwest, and that's what's keeping those temperatures mild comparatively. But there is a bit of a breeze. Uh, that breeze is making it feel a little bit cooler. So New Haven, 30 degrees right now with a wind out of the southwest at 9. Uh, look at Wellington, zero this morning. Yikes. 12 in Litchfield, Bristol, 16, and then you move to the shoreline, 23 degrees in West Haven. So the numbers are all over the place this morning. Pick your town, pick your temperature. Very cold in Northeast Connecticut, two in Willimantic, Putnam at four, and then you move to uh, 10, between 10 and 30. What a temperature differential between Meriden and New Haven, right? So uh, it all depends on where you are this morning. And the numbers for, are up from yesterday along the shoreline and in northwest Connecticut, but a little bit colder in northeast Connecticut from 24 hours ago. And the winds, 9 to 18 miles an hour along the shoreline, and that's going to make things feel a little bit colder. Gust to 25 right now in Bridgeport and in Groton. So this is what it feels like when you're walking out the door. Oh, minus 8 in Willimantic. Minus Minus 8 in Putnam, 2 in Torrington, single-digit temperatures uh, for northwest and northeast Connecticut this morning, if not a little bit below zero. So you got to bundle up. All right, our wind chill values today, well, 
they're going to be in the 20s. And that's because of a breeze, a wind that we're going to have. We could see gusts in excess of 30 miles an hour during the day today. So that keeps the real feels in the upper teens and low to mid 20s. So it's a frigid start, mostly sunny skies today, and then two storms of interest on our Channel 3 early warning seven day forecast. We'll get to that in a second. In the meantime, enjoy today. Temperatures topping out in the mid 30s. It'll feel colder under partly to mostly sunny skies and temperatures getting close to 40 degrees along the shoreline. That's going to feel good. All right, future cast tomorrow's weather today. Today and tomorrow we're high and dry. Let's forge ahead here to Friday. This is Friday morning. Storm gets very close to Connecticut, but it looks like it's a miss. We're going to keep you posted on that, uh, but a miss for Friday. Saturday looks good. This is 9 a.m. Uh, mostly sunny skies during the afternoon on Saturday, and then most of the daylight hours on Sunday are dry. But here comes a storm system. Starts off as snow, goes over to sleet, and then plain rain. Plain old rain for Monday morning. This is subject to change depending on the track of this storm for Monday, but it's looking like a messy Monday. Daytime highs today in the mid to upper 30s. Mostly sunny. Sun was up at 717, sets at 441. And then your seven day forecast includes 38 tomorrow and then another reinforcing shot of cold air comes in once that storm system moves out to sea. That's going to get very close to Connecticut on Friday. Cold air comes pouring in Saturday, Sunday, 29, a little bit better. And then Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We're talking about a storm system that's going to roll in with a uh, plethora of precipitation types. Tuesday, 34 degrees with partly sunny skies. All right, that's a check of your early morning forecast. Nicole, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Scott. Taking a look now at the coronavirus in Connecticut and its impact. The state's positivity rate remains nearly 24% this morning. And we know that just in the last day, more than 6,700 new cases were reported. As for the demand for testing, that is still very high. So Harvard Healthcare is adding more options today. It'll be introducing drive-up testing testing trailers right at Bacchus and Wyndham hospitals. Here is what they look like. Take a, take a look at these pictures we have. These are from the pre-launch test last week. Appointments are required, just so you know, at these trailers. And these trailers will be open every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7 to 3. Hartford Healthcare says it wants to open more trailers like these across the state as well. Thank you so much for tuning in to Eyewitness News this morning. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Have a great day, everyone. Be healthy, stay positive, and stay warm.